guys, it's Rachel, and today I am back in my B6 Memory Planner. I've not been in here for a while, um, and I think we're up to the first week in February. Let's have a check. Um, so I did my February monthly. There should be a video for that up on my channel somewhere. I did do that one on camera. I didn't do January's on camera because I was trying to figure out the layout. And also, a little FYI for that as well, I have been buying the Harriet Wright Design Kits um, because this is the Harriet Wright Design Planner and this is B6 size and the kits were B6 size. I've not seen the B6 size, how many times can I say that, monthly kits in any of the shops, but I did find these ones in Wendy Print, so I do have some different ones uh, to try. So they will be coming up soon as well and the kits are absolutely beautiful. I had to get the May one which is my birthday month and these colours and these florals are just so beautiful. They are just completely my style. I absolutely love them. So yeah, that was just an FYI because I did get a couple of questions from people asking um, where else you could buy the monthlies from and that is somewhere else that I did find. So we are literally in the first week of February. I have chosen a kit from Fab Planner Prints. A kit that, as usual, I can't remember the name of, but it's the sort of witchy spells, that type of vibe, and I just love it. So we've got the nine full boxes, we've got nine checklist boxes, which I probably won't use because I don't use that in this type of planner. Um, and then I've got some functionals and some headers, some little things and some more little functionals. We've got our date covers and our checklist. I was just wondering if I had that page twice because... That's the same, but it isn't. It's not the same. It's not the same page. Uh, yeah, and then we've got the washi and some deco. I love this kit. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't think it's exactly the same as, but one of my favourite, favourite, favourite kits from Fab Planner Print, and I actually have two albums of the same, was this one. I just thought that it was absolutely gorgeous. And this was like a second version of that that they brought out. Anyway, that's what we're going to use because... Now, I'm going to say this very carefully because when I said this in yesterday's video, or Monday's video, my B6 video, um, I said, oh, it's not a special week, we'll just use any old... Uh, no, it was my memory planner, it was yesterday, it was Hobonichi, and then it turned out to be Easter and it was a special week and I just hadn't realised. So let's just have a check that it's not a special week where anything special happened. Uh, right, so here we go. No, there's nothing special on this week, so I can use that kit. Right, okay. So I am going to do my usual trick of putting all the stickers down on camera and just writing the stickers before I stick them down off camera. It just makes the videos um, a little bit less uh, long. Not as long would have been a better way to say that. I don't know why I said that so weirdly. Um, yeah, and yeah, I think that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the bottom washi. It wasn't too full of a week. Um, this week I actually did the uh, week on two page layout this week so I didn't have too much that had gone on why did I not Chris got sent home from work he was ill um, yeah not much went on really so I think then I'm not going to do what I normally do I normally go down to the bottom of the page to give myself a bit of extra space I'm not going to do that today I'm going to stay right in the boxes because I don't need the extra space. This is probably going to be more of a decorative week rather than absolutely full of things that we did. So yeah, how are you all? I hope you're all well. I had intended to film this a little bit earlier. It's not late by any stretch. I think it's about quarter to 11. It's about quarter to 11. Oh, yeah, ish, quarter to 11. Um, but just as I was on the way walking back from school, my phone rang and it was my mum and she was like, oh, I'm going to Big Tesco's, do you fancy coming? Um, so I went to Big Tesco's with my mum because if anybody likes leggings, they have a really nice pair of leggings in there. Leggings are like my, my nemesis. I hate leggings that are see-through. I really enjoy sports leggings. This is just going to be a story that you might even not want to hear. <laughs> just a bit of random rambling for no reason but yeah I really enjoy sports leggings particularly like lycra style ones they only usually wear black but they can get quite expensive I've got quite a few nice pairs of Puma and Nike leggings they're all like £25 each which is fine um, because I can't stand cheap leggings that you can see through but my mum bought some high-waisted leggings from Tesco they were £6 and she was like these leggings are so good and I was like, well, I'll buy a pair and try them. If I don't like them, you can have them. Because me and my mum are the same size. Um, I was like, but if they're see-through, I'm not going to be happy. But they're not. They're really good. Uh, so I went and I picked up another pair this morning. 
so it's the black high-waisted ones they do have some normal ones but i don't know what they're like but the high-waisted ones are good i think that leggings are um just an annoyance to me because like i wear them all the time and i buy so many because they like they fray and they get holes in and I don't know, I just think that buying a decent pair of leggings is hard work, is what I'm trying to say. I bought some from Boohoo, and they, were, they weren't they were like the TikTok ones, the official TikTok ones. You know the Rishi Bum ones that's supposed to make your butt look amazing? It was like Boohoo's version of those, and I think I paid £12 for a pair. When I got them home, you could see through them so bad. And then Chris said to me, absolute rudeness, Chris said to me, um, Rach, why is your butt eating your leggings? And I was like absolutely no need absolutely no need so those leggings went in the bin we're not bothering with those leggings anymore but yeah that is my little story about leggings that you probably didn't even want to hear so we've got our date covers down we've got our bottom washer down let's decide what we're going to do with headers so there are some headers in the kit which i will use throughout the spread but i think that headers underneath the date covers need to be something a little bit more special and i do i think i want to put some foiling down now looking at this kit i think maybe some rose gold foil will complement it it's got some quite warm colors in um and i do have these as well let's go through and see what i've got and we'll put possibles on this side so we're not going to use those that's kind of similar isn't it um i don't think hollow i think hollow's not right for this kit it does need to be rose gold i think or maybe even just normal gold there are possible Um, I think they're impossible as well, actually. Mm. Um, so I think these are possible as well, actually. Uh, but I'm not going to go with those ones today. I think I quite like those ones from Morello Papery that were in the middle, these ones. And they're just um, a rose gold foil fetti headers from the collection that says Wedded Bliss. So let's use those. We'll pop those down. I think all the colours will go, actually. What do you think? Yeah, I think I will get away with using all the colours. So let's pop these down. So yeah, that was me at Tesco's this morning with my mum. I went in to buy a pair of those leggings, like I said. Chris wanted some soya milk because he's not drinking normal milk at the moment. And I somehow came out and I'd spent £45. I was like, well, thanks for that, mum. I don't know how I spent so much, but I hadn't intended to spend that much. And it was literally just on food as well and um, a few little bits of toiletries i find tesco really expensive does anybody else i think tesco is super expensive although they do do a really nice broccoli uh, money or well, i think they just call it broccoli cheese but that's really quite nice uh, but yeah so that was my morning although if you have a club card as well they do um some prices where if you've got a club card it's cheaper than it would be for the normal price which again is a nice touch but i do when you shop at aldi which is where i shop i do shop at aldi i love aldi um and then you go to a, a supermarket like that you're like wow it's expensive in here we used to shop at morrison's all the time and then on the estate where morrison's is they built the aldi and so we switched to Aldi and then the odd time we knit back into Morrison's, usually if I'm looking for clothes for the kids or mainly Paige, school clothes and school shoes. Um, and then sometimes we'll do a little bit of shopping in there, we'll get to the till and I'll be like, oh, when they're like, it's £80 something. And I'm like, no, it can't possibly be. And then I'll just spend the day going to Chris. If we'd have bought all that in Aldi, that would have been £30. If we'd have bought all that in Aldi, that wouldn't have been so expensive because I feel wounded afterwards. I'm like Aldi's biggest fan. But anyway, <laughs> right, let's get some, um, let's get some deco down. We are going to have deco 
on every day I think including uh Sunday as well maybe not Saturday but because all I've got on Sunday was the shopping scan I don't have anything to put down um so yeah I don't need to save the space on the weekend like I might normally choose to do um let's put this beautiful girl down on Monday it's a really really pretty box I do love this cat. I love all of these types of kits. You know, they're all the mystical, magical sort of spell type kits. I just think they're so pretty. Um, then we'll go on to Wednesday. I'm just looking at my Stalogy whilst I'm putting these down and making sure that I put them in the right places. You know, if I've got a day where I'm going to be particularly busy, um, I might want to cut one down. But I think for the most part we are all right. Um, let's put the spell book one down. Funnily enough, I was talking to Chris the other day and I think I made him feel like I was an absolute nutter. Um, and no offence to anybody that is into this type of thing, what I'm about to say. Because believe me, um, I have definitely dabbled in... I don't want to say like... I'm definitely not a witch, like don't get me wrong. But what, I'm, what I should say is that I've always been fascinated. I have always been fascinated by um, like tarot and um, I used to have some fortune cards. They weren't tarot cards, they were called fortune cards. I'm going to leave that one off because I think I might need a little bit of space on there. Um, yeah, and that type of thing. And I was talking to Chris the other day because we walked past a park that we live near. And when I was a teenager, me and my best friend, uh, she was really into this boy and he didn't really particularly like her and we did a spell we found it um on one of those you know when you like got a magazine you buy a magazine when you were like a teenager and they have like telephone numbers in to like um tarot people or witches or whatever and she rang one of these numbers and she got given this spell to do and i'll, I'll never forget um, and I wonder if it's still there. We did this spell that she had to do and she had to burn a candle part way down. I don't remember the rest of it. But there was like a salt circle in the living room. Um, and then we buried it on the park. We had to go and bury it on the park. And where she lived, she didn't have a garden. And I was really conscious that I didn't want anybody to see what we were doing. Because I felt a bit silly. Um, yeah, and we went and buried it on the park. And we, um, Chris and I and the kids, still go to that park quite often. And every now and again, I'll say to him, it's over there somewhere. I wonder if it's still there. It's just, it's just so, just such a flashback. Call back the doctors is what I did on this day. So we'll pop that in. So yeah, I suppose I've always been um, curious about things like that. I think I get it from my Nana as well, because I remember my Nana having runes when, um, when I was, younger and again the same thing I think she was a bit like me not particularly a big believer in it as in thinking that all of that kind of stuff works more like fascinated and I remember I do remember her having those runes uh, they were in her sewing room she still has the same sewing room <laughs> so yeah just a bit of a flashback really uh right then it says that Chris was sent home this was the week that he got sent home um and he had to do his COVID test. He didn't have COVID. Uh, but this was when he'd had quite a lot of time off for Paige's birthday. And then his late week had fallen. And then it ended up that he'd actually had about a month off work altogether. Um, which was nice. We got to do some nice things together. Spend some time together as a family. And then I think underneath that I will just put another um, header to... to Fill up the space. I'm not going to use one with the butterflies on. I'm not keen on butterflies. I think I've said that before. So if I put this header down here, then that fills up that space. So that is Monday done. I said I wasn't going to write on camera, didn't I? But I've just realised as I was talking, I was writing on the camera. Uh, right then. So Tuesday, we did the doggies flea treatment. So let's write that in. I've just done them as well uh, this week. 
we use the it's itch subscription i've told you before and it's quite good it's um i can be a bit forgetful so it's handy just to have it pop through the door every uh, every month and it's just ready for when i need to use it and then chris did his covid test um i'm not gonna have enough of these bigger boxes am i do I want to bring, what I'm thinking is, if I end up needing to bring some other boxes in, I don't just want to do it on this page, I want to have them over here on this page as well. So let me just see what four boxes I've got um, that I can use, I mean, half boxes it will be, won't it? Do I have any colours? These ones here will go, won't they? I just want to make sure that if I'm using half boxes from a different shop, that I make sure that they're evenly spread over. That's all I'm thinking. So these ones are from Happy Shape Papery. Uh, what was I writing? Chris is COVID test. Let's find a header. Let's use one of these ones. And then underneath that, I have got um, oh, that I was watching Marcella. I love Marcella. It's on Netflix at the moment if you've not seen it. Is that straight? That's not quite straight, that is it. These are removable stickers, so no bother if I need to straighten them up. Yeah, Marcella, really good. If you've not watched that, you should give that a watch. Um, so if I write it on here to the side, is there a, no, there isn't a H in it. I always think, is there a H in it? And then maybe I can put a TV icon on there as well. Let's have a little look through my sticker book. Oops. Um... Oh my God, that frightened the life out of me. The dog sat on the remote and turned the sound back on. One sec. I don't know if that picked up on camera then, but I'm in the house by myself um, and I was just watching Everybody Loves Raymond whilst I was having my breakfast. Uh, and then I just muted the telly. I don't know if the camera just picked it up, but it just came back on and uh, the sound that it came back on was like the guy laughing and it just sounded really creepy behind me. I feel like my heart is in my mouth. <laughs> And it was the dog standing on the remote turning the sound back on. Trying to frighten the life out of me, she is. Um, What am I looking for? I'm looking for TV stickers, aren't I? I used to have some small clear ones. I think they were from the Crescent Planner, but I've used them all up. I need to order some more. I do have some from Paper K, but they're larger ones. Um... Which I think I am going to have to use, actually. I don't have any smaller ones in here, I don't think. Just having a quick look, see if I've got any that have come off samplers. But I don't think that I do. Did I not buy any from Little Blue and Papery? I mustn't have done. I've got these ones here. Um, if I use the grey one. These are from Mac and Grey and they're really, really old. I don't know whether or not they're still available. If I put that down there like that, that's okay. And then we can move on to Wednesday. Okay, so we've got that. I did a print press unit plan with me, which we can just pop down there. And then Chris got his negative results as well. And then I'll find an icon uh, to pop on the plan with me one, I think. If I look in the book, I think at the back, there was some Happy Shape papery ones. Um, over here, aren't they? Do you think I can use? I can use one of these yellow ones, can't I? And we'll just pop that down there like that. Um, now I don't really have anything at the bottom. I've got that I did some planning. So maybe what I can do is pop a header across. Um, I'm 
going to need to just lift that up a smidgeroonie. And then if I find a planner sticker, then I can just pop that across there. And that will mark that I was catching up in my planners. Um, which one shall I use? I do have quite a few sprinkled throughout this book. I think I'll use one of these ones because it's quite floral and this kit is quite floral. There we go. Perfect. Let's move on to Thursday then. What have we got on Thursday? Oh, I've got that I had a nice nap. It must have been a good nap if I've marked it down. Maybe I didn't have anything else to mark down on that day. Um... So let's write nap over on this side because I do have some stickers that I can use to mark that. I have some paper shire um, pillows somewhere, I think. Here we go. Let's use this one. Oh, I didn't write it over far enough. So what can I put down instead? I've got this eye mask. That's better. I should have written nap further across. Never mind though. Um, and then I need to put down a header. And then I need to put down a planner flat lay because I did some planning again. And I've got some space for a flat lay. I did just see some further up here. In fact, we've got these pretty ones from Planner Face. We can put one of these down. And then lastly, I have got that I did my grocery shopping. So I'm going to mark that again by putting down a header and then putting a sticker over the top. And I do have a few grocery stickers in here. Let's have a look what we've got. Um, do I have any of the panda bear ones that I had where he's holding the two shopping bags? quite like those ones, but I'm not sure if I've got any left. Don't think I do. I do. Oh, one right there. That's who I'm looking for. He can just mark that we went shopping. And then let's move on to Friday. On Friday, I announced the giveaway winner, the giveaway winner for my 1K giveaway that I did. So let's mark that down on here. There we go. Uh, shall I put that down the bottom? I'll put that down the bottom because I do have the space. And then, um, oh, I was watching Death in Paradise. Oh, and I did some hoovering as well. So let's do the hoovering um, in the similar style to what I just said. We'll do a header and then an icon. And I definitely did see some cleaning icons at the back from Paper Shire in here. I just saw them two minutes ago. Yep, here we go. Just got down these cute, cute, cute hoovers. Um, let's use another one of these boxes just to bring another one in. What day are we on here? Friday, Friday, Friday. Death in Paradise, which I love. There we go. So that is Friday. I don't have any small TVs still, I don't think. Let's have a look and see if I've got any small TVs in here. Um, I really do need to order some, I think. No, I don't have any more. I've got these. Maybe I can use another black, darker one of these. 
I want some clear overlay ones. I'm going to have to order some more. I think I ordered them from the Crescent Planner. Um, maybe I'll have to go back and do that. So then moving on to Saturday. On Saturday, I have got that I filmed a Hobonichi Weeks plan with me. So let's pop that down on here. And I have got that I was watching Marcello again. So we can put those two things down. And I think we'll separate them with a header. Oh, and I need to put date dots on. Let's not forget to put date dots on. Although, this is one of those kits where I think, where do I put the number? Maybe I'll do a smaller number underneath on the header. That might be a possibility. We can figure that out when we get to it. Um, I just want to put down a YouTube, the YouTube sticker just to mark that. I'm going to use a dot the bear. There we go. Super cute. Uh, underneath, what did I have? Was it Marcella? I think so. Somewhere over here. Here we go. And then the last thing that I need to mark down for Sunday was that I did the shop and scan. That is literally the only thing that I've got on Sunday. I've even got a to-do list and I've just not even written anything in it. But that's okay. That's just how some weeks turn out. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so let's have a think about date dots then. Oh, that's just going to fit in there. Literally just a squeeze. So I think then that it's actually a good job that I didn't go down to the bottom of the page today. Normally what I would do, I did uh, say before, is I will squidge the washi down to the bottom and move the date covers right up to the top. But because it wasn't such a busy week, I just didn't think that there was any point doing that. I, I was going to struggle to fill the week anyway. So date covers. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Date dots, I mean, they're going to have to be small ones. Uh, what about these? These will work and we need to start on the 1st, don't we? It's the 1st or 7th. And I think I'll do what I said. I will put them on the header underneath. Um, maybe I'll do it like that and then they will stand out a bit more against the top. So these are just some date dots that I got from a Happy Shape Papery Hobonichi Weeks kit and I didn't use them. So I cut them off to save them for another day. I love this B6. I love the way these spreads turn out. I think they just look so pretty. You will remember when I was thinking about getting one of these, I was going between this and a 7x9. Um, and I think for me, the choice was right. I made the right choice. A 7x9 would have just been too much space. I don't need a full day for Saturday and Sunday and I wouldn't have needed a sidebar. Um, yeah, so I am very, very happy with my choice and I'm very, very happy with how this spread has turned out. So I've got quite a few stickers left. I'll just show you because I know that people like to see what I've got left. I've got a couple of um, full boxes. I've got some functionals. I didn't really use anything off this page and I've got these left as well. And I will probably use these in a print pressure week spread at some point. But yeah, that's how this has turned out. And that is going to be it from me for this video. If you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye.